Hi Penguin Platform, I'm Fern McCann and you have been sending in your questions so I'm going to answer them right now. You can find out how you can win this, a signed copy of my new book Cross My Heart. Okay, I'm going to go with Billy Fairs. She's my ink to my blink, my yin to my yang, my ant to my deck. I think Danielle Armstrong because she's just pure jokes. My mum? Can I say my mum? Is that really sad? And you can come too. I'll pack you my suitcase. <laughs> Isn't that really annoying when people go, um, oh, can I come in your suitcase? No. I've only got like 20 kilos allowance. So no, you can stay at home. I can actually remember the exact date. It was February the 22nd, four solid months. But literally that was like intense, day in, day out, writing the book. And pretty much like my whole life is the book. You know what I mean? Like I've lived my life, I then wrote it down. Well, first of all, don't stress. What's the point in stress? Like be cool as a cucumber. And I know easier said than done. Actually, what my nan used to tell me is you can only do your best if you're prepared, you've done your revision, you've put the work in and you get to that point where you're actually sitting the exam. Don't stress, all you can do is take the exam and be prepared and organised with your stationery. I was always the one that got stuck with like the wobbly chair. So bring an extra rubber, slide it underneath the table leg, no more wobbling because it's off putting. Um, probably not, no. He was like my first love and I think that time has kind of passed. I mean, if you read the book, it goes all into detail. I mean, the other day I found out that he like posted a picture with another girl on holiday. It cut me deep, I'm not gonna lie. No, it's fine. I think the epilogue's pretty cool because it's present day and it's like what I'm up to now, where I am in my life. All the little moments like with me and Billy Fairs, we grew up together, got up to a lot of mischief when we were in school. There's like a random story in there where we threw wet toilet paper at a tree cutter. Don't ever do that by the way because we got in big trouble. Read it and tweet me what your favorite moment is because I'd, I'd really like to know. Most definitely, especially for me, because it's my life. In the book, there's all my ups and downs. You know, I talk about a horrific breakup that I went through with Charlie, when my parents split up. There'll be a few tear jerkers whilst reading it. One that really sticks out in my mind, we got the chance to go to Vegas. I think it was called The Only Way Is Vegas. I think that's probably what the name was. But it was really fun because we had a suite, so it was just pure girl fun, pool parties. Yeah, there were some ups and downs, but I just had an absolute ball with the girls. I really like Carly Bybell for makeup. I think she's super cute and her tutorials are really easy to follow. I love Giovanna Fletcher. I just think she's cool. And then I recently met Casper Lee and he's a really cool guy. I love Jack O'Connell. I think he's really hot. I really, I mean, I, I fancy him so much, I'm getting my tongue tied. Um, Zac Efron also, I like him. Yeah, oh my God, there's like a whole chapter on the jungle called I'm a Celebrity, Get Me In There. Well, that's easy because I'm a massive fan of tea and biscuits, always have been. That's in the book as well. Definitely chocolate viennese and finger. So if you want the chance to win this signed copy of my book, all you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave a comment in the box below answering this question. My book is called Cross My Heart, but if you had a book on your life, what would you call it and why? Okay, thanks for watching guys. Lots of love, Mwah. cross my heart, woo!